My name is Richard Cass, and this is Taste of the World Bangkok. Sometimes when traveling around the world, one of the most difficult things is finding a good restaurant to eat at to where you won't be disappointed. Well, that's what we're gonna do here at Taste of the World Bangkok, is take the guesswork out of it for you. So let's go check it out. Today we're at Nadimo's restaurant on Soy 24 in Bangkok, Lebanese food. We're gonna go inside, try some of the dishes, meet Richard, the owner, and as you'll see, Lebanese people are some of the warm and most wonderful people that you'll ever meet in the world. So come on in and check it out with me. I'm here with Chef Bishada at Nadimo's restaurant, and now we're gonna make a tabbouleh salad, Chef? The tabbouleh is mean parsley. Okay. The best tabbouleh is parsley. Parsley is, is a very, very strong flavor, but mixed with the tomatoes and everything else, the combination, it really is a distinctive taste. Next, pearl onion and green onion. Yeah. Okay. Because the pearl onion is technically stronger than the green onion, correct? Yeah, correct. Lemon juice, olive oil, generous helping of olive oil to help bind everything together. Salt, salt is flavor. And the bulgur, which again is granulated wheat. Does that add a little bit of a crunch to the salad as well? Yeah, give a little bit crunchy. Uh, you cannot put the bowl before you put... Uh, uh, the bowl must be the end. Okay. Because if we mix it with the uh, lemon and the salt, uh, oil, right. so it will uh, be like weak. Sticks, sticks, sticks together. Yeah. together. Give it flavor. Mix it quite well. You can smell it. My mouth is watering. And you know the smell of tabbouleh if if the salt enough inside, mm -hmm. so it will smell like you smell it now. You can, you can, can smell it. yes, you, can you, smell you it. could smell the parsley. No, it's okay because the salt it will give the smell. Okay. okay, when you smell the parsley, you know you have enough seasoning of salt inside because it makes it more aromatic. Lettuce for garnish, tabbouleh salad, the Demos restaurant, Richard, and Chef Bisha. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you. Finally, the moment of truth. After being in the kitchen and cooking with the chefs here at Nadimo's restaurant, we get a sampling of all the food. Richard, thank you so much for having us. Can you give us a little description of your food? First, welcome to Nadimo's Lebanese restaurant in Thailand. This is the authentic Lebanese restaurant in Thailand. We've been for five years in Thailand, four years the best restaurant on TripAdvisor and Thailand Tetler. As you see here, we have the Lebanese food prepared by our Lebanese chefs which this one is the lamb shawarma, okay. which we do it on that machine where the chef is cutting now. And this is called fatouche, a vegetables, mix of vegetables with the, with samak, a special pepper we bring over from Lebanon. You know, as in the Lebanese cuisine, you have more than 100 item, vegetarian items. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is one of them also. This is falafel, very famous Lebanese. It's made out of green peas and chickpeas. You soak it and then you mince it and then you deep fry it. You take it with the sesame oil, which we prepare also here homemade. You have the mixed barbecue, which comes the chicken, the lamb and the kebab and the lamb chops. We import all our spices or our peppers from Lebanon. 70% of our ingredients, we ship it over. The olives, the olive oil, the special peppers, we all import it from Lebanon. The vine leaves also. And nice. Oh, here, here we have. Here we have kibinaye. It's a raw meat prepared fresh meat from the market. What, what type of meat are we talking here? This is a mutton meat, mutton. Okay. This is raw meat, it's called like carpaccio, it's like carpaccio. We have cr uh, crushed wheat inside, olive oil, onion, tomatoes. This one you can eat it with a pita bread, with some garlic around it. I have to say, this looks, looks very, very appetizing. My mouth has been water, look, watering looking at it. I can't wait to dig into that. Now, I noticed that you have some Lebanese wine here. Are you importing that as well? Yes, we're importing the Lebanese wine, Chateau Muzar. You have to try our wine, please. Let's try a little wine. Cheers. Thank you so much. We're here with Chef Noor again. We're making one of my favorite dishes in the world, hummus. Friend introduced me to it years ago. Cannot get enough of it. And here at Nadimos, their hummus is really quite good. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put in some already boiled chickpeas, okay? Okay. One tablespoon salt, crushed ice. Helps it all bind together. And tahini. And tahini, sesame seed paste, generous helping. A little bit more olive oil for consistency. So loosen it up just a little bit. More lemon juice. 
looking like hummus that we all know and love. Quite delicious looking chef, very, very nice. On the plate, a little flair. Okay, plating it up, smoothing it out. Chickpeas on. Maybe not as nice as the professionals, but a job well done, I think. Chef, cheers. <laughs> Chef North, I noticed you took the plate and you threw it up and you said, the king of hummus, you worked at the, the king of hummus before? Yeah, king of hummus. And where was that? In Lebanon. In Lebanon. Uh, and Lebanon. how many hummus did you do in one day, king of hummus? Uh, maybe 1,000 blade, maybe 1,500 blade. 1,500 plate a day. Maybe, That's yeah. Very, very busy. <laughs> Is that a lot of chickpeas, yes? No, no, I have before this work, you know. Yeah, so, yes, right, you yeah. just plate the hummus, though. Yeah, yeah. As with any traditional Lebanese meal, finishing off with traditional Lebanese shisha, Lebanese desserts, here at Nadimo's restaurant, Soy 24. Richard, thank you very much for having us. I'm quite relaxed and quite full. I hope you enjoyed your time as much as I did. And see you again on A Taste of the World, Bangkok. Thank you very much.